Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Egypt playthrough here in Imperator Rome 1.2 Cicero, where we're still on the beta patch now, next time we're playing we'll be on the actual patch as it is live now, where well, things are going well, oh well I say that, we just had a battering over here in uh, the Greek peninsulas, um, so I say things are going well. They really aren't actually going so well there. I know we, we do have, we've got a rebel force here I need to deal with. Um, we've we've uh, let a little thing go there. Uh, I'm not negotiating with any slaves. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. I think we need to import some food over here. Hopefully push that the right way, yep. Yeah. yeah, we we yeah, we we took a bit of a battering, guys. Needless to say, we, we are in a bit of a... Now we want to spend some time uh, replenishing. Uh, Phrygia is... Phrygia is gone. They have imploded once again. Uh, ah, we will not negotiate with slaves. He says, wondering if maybe I should. Especially as they're completely destroying some of my territory there. Here. Not getting rid of any of those fortifications. Oh. Oh, I apologised, guys. I, I I wasn't in a position where I could really deal with them. I was very weak, so I couldn't really redirect much there. Um. As these guys slowly civilize, eventually we'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, integrate them as well. I know I, they were part of me, which I let go. We had larger concerns than a little bit of silly desert over here, and having them as a buffer zone is potentially good. One day we'll be able to start recolonizing over here as well. I am... Um, I am not in a good way at the moment, so we we need to rebuild our armies. We lost a lot of armies in this war. But it is what the Greek states do. You know, they, they do their own thing. They, uh, you know, they, they, they banded together to push us out, which is, is kind of a perfect tactic for them. So I can't blame them for doing it. They do what they did. They do what they do, and they did it very well. Um... I'm quite happy with the slave percentage we want there. I can't afford that. Yeah. <laughs> Things could have been worse. Stab a little piggy to up that again. Let's 
We could build a slave estate here. Uh, decreases the output quite a lot. We have just had an update, so some of the stuff I'm not as clear on as I was before. Um, hmm. So I could revoke this place's city status, but I don't want to do that because we finally have it in a decent position. I mean, uh, they want 75 slaves, so... Uh, we have a desired ratio is 34%, so we've got excess slaves at the moment, but... Change that so the um, food output. Hmm. So does it vary from place to place? Because up here it definitely seems to do a different thing. No, was I on something else? Ah, that one was mine. Farming settlement is good. That would give us a bigger circle from all of these places. You know what? I'm going to do this through the macro. There we go. So upping our, our lush, fertile farming lands there. Um, We are going to start drilling all of my armies as well, which will push up my military experience far faster. It is slightly more expensive, but I can I can cope with that. Once we're sorted and our manpower is back, so my man I am crippled the manpower at the moment. Once we've got our manpower up and running again, we will look at rejigging ourselves to an extent. You can actually pull all the way back here. And then we'll spread my others around. I don't necessarily want these guys right on the border, actually. Operations to deal with those slaves. You can pull over here and you can stay here. Just to deal with any Phrygian incursions, which I don't think is going to happen, as I said, because Phrygia is pretty much done. Uh, they've still got a few vassal states, but. Oh, Thrace is in trouble too. Macedon is solid. Rome is growing. They're big. Nobody's really consolidated Britannic Britannia yet. Carthage is not doing badly. Um, I've not clashed with Carthage. Really had any interactions with Carthage or Rome. Oh, Achoria is finally beginning to fall. I cannot believe Achoria is still actually there. Armenia and the Selekids are probably my biggest threats uh, long term. Um, I mean, we are definitely, um... Keeping fabricating against all of these guys as much as we can. There you go, you can go to the Olympics.
Do you already have flames down here? I'm not particularly bothered about these places. Right now, I can't afford a war either, which is a little annoying. I would like to keep my expansion going, but for the time being, I'm happy to leave it. Why, why would I care about um, Bridget's opinion of me? Ah, I can't afford to fabricate any claims just now. But we've got some good claims. I've got a claim against here. Oh, I can't afford to just yet. I would like to take all of that because then we'd have a legitimate reason to go poking around in uh, Macedon. Though we may struggle up here in the walls up here, but we need to take Macedon long run and Thrace, so. Nice. How are we doing on laws? Let's have a look through my laws. What have I actually unlocked? Not much. At all. Hmm. Extra discipline. And experience is very good. Uh... Desired slave ratio, I kind of like that as well. Have a bit of a better look at them shortly. Built all of our farming settlements here. Okay, good at that. Good at religion stuff. There you go. You're actually better than the person I had in office, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I want to build a few more things here. I want granaries. go. Granary there basically means we can stockpile more food which means it won't fall as quickly in a siege which is always quite good. Stock. Uh, yes, primary culture happiness. One day we'll get back to max. Why are we still running negative? I guess it's negative because we're still building up our armies. Basically, right now, we are just having some time 
chilling, relaxing, because we can't afford to keep this expansion on at the moment, because our armies, as well, you can tell, our armies are battered. I can't afford, I don't have the manpower to build more armies. Yeah, side with him, that's just the best balanced one. How oh, does it automatically stop when I move them? Let us drill all of my armies. Which is expensive, but puts up my military expertise faster. Yeah, odd. power one. Global food modifier, yes! Having everywhere with lots and lots of food is great. Right, I thought that might be about to happen somewhere. Oh god, we've got two armies here. Oh. I have more armies left than I thought. Ah! Okay. So we had a few more armies left than I thought, actually, guys. Um, not overly upset by that, so we'll leave a couple of armies here while we bring the rest back to replenish. Which is why this is being eaten so much. I was a little confused, as you may have been able to tell. So they're all going to be uh, marched home. And by home, I literally mean home to my home provinces. Uh, where they could be marched onto armies, for, they, sorry, they could be put onto things here, but we'll be able to replenish all of the units there, whereas in other places, there's potential struggle to replenish some of them. Some of the more specialist units. Pirates. Yeah, I can't afford to restore it. So the requests are only ever food, so I pretty much just chain declining them at the moment. Which is possibly not the most sensible thing, but. So these legions have all returned home now. So they can also all be being put onto drilling. Well, drilling raises their experience, uh, which in turn raises the speed I get military experience, because the, mil the exp speed you gain this is based on the average experience of all your troops. So fighting lots of wars is good for it, but drilling them is also good because it raises their experience. There are negatives, it costs more, and it means they're more likely to become loyal to their generals, which makes their generals more powerful. Which means they're more likely to go off on one at war with you. Okay. 
I mean, I can't allow a new nation to appear there. So they're uh, creating a little league there, but we're, we're getting lots of claims on that. Um, we'll have a war over here sooner or later. Oh, wow. We've pretty much got rid of the Egyptian culture in Egypt. <laughs> uh, religion is spreading nicely as well into our territories. Fortunately, a lot of this was already slightly Macedonian, so that's really been good. You can see Macedonian culture is properly spreading. Granaries raided. Replace it. We just do have some other cultures in these places, but they're not too bad. Ooh, bit of war going on there. This is probably going to be one of my less interesting let playthroughs, guys, simply because we are having to deal with all of this, so... We're getting there. Soon our manpower will start going up. I can't afford to go to a war instantly as soon as that's done. I mean, maybe a small war or two. Um... You know, like say against Kush. I am going to have a, a short war against Kush just to push them back more. It's a bit of a pain taking on Kush because I'm going to do a, a set a region at a time. Though my aggressive expansion is dropping nicely now, so. See, I, I managed to recruit one thing. Having a road all the way down there would be awesome. No, I don't think I can build roads yet. I can build military colonies. Hmm. Okay. Oh, could I recap there with military? I don't know how military colonies work. I need to really do need to work it out. I love the way they've got rebels, they can't actually do anything about them. Let's speed everything up a bit. No! Passing of his mother and mentor. Considering he, he started as a little child. Wow, he's crap. Why is the king always crap? She, however, ain't. There we go. So we married her off. Let's make sure he's relatively wealthy too. Uh, basically, he had some good stats. Um, I don't know how it works with your heirs, if it's at all based on the stats of the parents, but just in case we're doing that. So, Thrace's former territory up here, or areas around it, are full of Scrithia. 
But wherever I say that has expanded nicely. I'm amazed the Selekids. I don't think I've, this is the first game I've had where the Selekids have actually stayed together this well. Have I really only managed to get one so far? Oh, I think it might have reset at some point. Ah, oh, this is danger of playing beaters, guys. God, I really could use a road down here. I really could use the ability to build roads. Because having a road all the way down here would make things much faster. That having roads around my empire would be incredibly good. Who cares? There you go, my manpower is beginning to increase now. We've got this war going on. This isn't going to be a long war. Those the better ones. There we go. Batter them back easily. Free can all go straight on to independent operations. We're miles away from their capital, and we get some better territory down here as well, but it's still a mile away. Hmm. Wow, new fridge here is growing substantially. Should this not show who I've got claims against? We are fabricating against all of that, though. Oh, it also shows. Ah, oh, that's nice. It's got little flags where the pirate holds are. Which I'm quite sure is something I didn't have beforehand. Oh, they've come back. Oh god, they've actually hit us. Oh, 
That's what happens when I don't pay attention. I lose an army. Good God. I mean, let's be honest, it's, it's not a major loss here. We still won all one overall. them all and then subjugate, try and subjugate them down there, which would be an interesting one. I have no desire to do that. Oh, that's fake Phrygia. Or new Phrygia. Stop behaving like children, I don't need people with excessive rivalries in my nation at the moment. More food. I'm just going to take that. This was always designed to be a small... Yes! I am now a great power. And that's expanded as all. Wow. Ooh. Did Kush just disintegrate? I think I just disintegrated Kush, guys. Oh, damn it, you can. That is amazing. I love it when you break a nation apart. Yeah. Moria is also looking quite scarily large. Oh, they've lost some territory down there. You can go around there, wow. So things are going reasonably. I am, however, going to leave this one here, guys. So uh, we've not done a huge amount other than Squish Kush. 
As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments in the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check that out. As always, thank you for watching, guys.